Okay, our next step is to create the machining from the other side. So in order to do, to do this, we need to turn the part over. So how to do this in SprutCam, I will show you and uh, I will show you how to do this right now. So first of all, I will turn on the visibility of the machine and the fixture. Next, please check that in our cam tree, we don't have any setups. It's because all the setup settings are defined in the machine. You can see here setup and tooling and here are the workpiece and WCS uh, setup numbers. So in order to generate a new setup in the project, we need to create some structure uh, elements which are in the structure section of this menu. So I create structure setup stage. What happens is that all setup settings are now in the setup stage and not in the machine. So for simple projects with one part and one setup basically you can not create setup stages it's enough to define a setup in the machine we made it for better user experience and less clicks so but if you want to if you um, i don't know maybe if you are used to uh, other cat cam software where they have setup stages so or setups you can create setup for any uh, setup stage for any setup in SprutCam, even if you have only one setup in the project and one part. So uh, now this is the one setup project. So in order to make the second setup, I will create new setup stage. It looks like this. So and now we can see that all the operations which I have created earlier are now located in setup stage one and setup stage two is empty. And here I can redefine the settings of the setup or the yeah the redefine redefine the setup. So to do that I click this uh, three dots uh, button and turn the part over like this. Oh, that's not everything I need to do. So I will also move it like this. Okay, so if I need to change the position of moving parts of the fixture, I can also do it here. Okay, next is to define G55. By the way, you can see that the number of uh, WCS has increased. So here we have G54, here we have G55. So I will also define it with uh, smart snaps. Make sure that smart snap is enabled. And I will put it in the center of the part like this. And the last thing in this project I need to do is to create face milling operations. So I create 3D entry face milling. Let's choose the uh, torus mill. That's it. And press run. Okay, we finished. So I go here and press simulate up to current operation. Run. And that's, that's it. Okay, and the last thing we're going to do is we are going to output the NC code in the next video.